A little over six months ago, I did a review on Athletic Greens, and I said I would do a follow-up review after six months, and this is that review. So what do I think? And why is it called AG1 now anyways? Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, do a cost analysis on them, then give them my own rating to help you decide whether they are worth purchasing or not. I buy my products with my own money unless they are given to me by the manufacturer and I always let you know at the beginning of the videos. Today I'm reviewing, as you know, Athletic Greens. For those of you who don't know, Athletic Greens is a vitamin and nutrient powder that you dissolve in cold water every morning. You drink it once a day and it takes the place of taking vitamin supplements every morning. It's targeted at those who want to simplify their morning vitamin routine. Now I have to admit I'm a bit of an anomaly because I actually like getting vitamin supplements, taking them out and sorting them out for the week, putting them in their separate capsule containers. And no, I'm not 93 years old. Also, I like to see exactly what I'm putting in my body every day and I can regulate my intake of vitamins using the capsules, which is something that I couldn't do or can't do with Athletic Greens. Now this may seem a little old fashioned and maybe it is, I don't know, because I know there have been recent studies done which are actually saying that taking supplements in liquid or powdered form are better absorbed by your body than taking them in capsule form. This argument has been going back and forth and I'm not sure whether they're gonna be conclusive about it. But before I go on about my six month review of Athletic Greens, can you do me a favor? Can you just reach over and slightly tap that like button? As you probably know by now, the like button is very important to the YouTube algorithm. It gets me noticed and gets my videos noticed and kind of pushes them out to people who've never seen them before. So I really appreciate it. Enough of that, let's get to what's in the box. As you can see, the packaging for Athletic Greens has changed. It's now called AG1. I'm not sure why they did this. A lot of companies like to rebrand their products when they change formulas or if they slightly change their products. And in this case, I noticed Athletic Greens did do a few little changes, but I will get back into that later. The bottle size is the same as it was last time. Here's the old one, here's the new one. So that hasn't changed much. The green powder looks the same and I actually tried it again and it tasted about the same from what I could remember. I don't have the old packaging anymore, but I do have footage of it from my previous video. So I'll get to comparing the packaging and also comparing the ingredients to see what exactly has changed. Here's the previous package on the left and the new one on the right. Very different indeed. The new one is very bold and easy to read and I can see why they wanted to take this route with the design. As for the supplement facts, here's where you'll see the differences. I won't go over all of them with you, but I will point out that some are interesting to me. The calories, carbs, fiber, sugars, and protein are all the same, but there are little tweaks here and there. I noticed they are no longer measuring vitamin A in international units, but in RAE, or retinal activity equivalence, which I suspect is the new way of measuring vitamin A, as it can affect eyesight. It still represents 62% of the daily value, or DV. It was interesting to note that vitamin C, although still at 420, was now only equal to 460% of the daily value, as opposed to 700% on the original packaging. Vitamin E was formerly at 100 IU, or international units, and 334% daily value. They have now put more vitamin E on the product and are measuring it in milligrams, 83, which now equals 553% of daily value. I found discrepancies like this throughout the AG1 supplemental facts, and I think it's good just to double check for yourselves so you can see the slight changes they've made. I imagine that Athletic Greens had to revise some incorrect measurements and add and subtract some ingredient counts as well 
to get the perfect blend and satisfy the NSF. I do applaud a company that takes time to do this so all its purchasers will feel comfortable and safe using their product. Not all companies are this forthright. So as you saw, only a few slight changes to the ingredients. I do like the new packaging. It's simple, modern, and easy to remember. Like the old packaging, it does say refrigerate after opening, which is a very important point because when I said that on my previous video, a lot of you were happy that I told you about that because there's nothing worse than paying about, I don't know, 80 bucks a bag or more and having this go bad on you. Now, what were my findings after using Athletic Greens for six months? Here's some questions I was asked and here are my answers. Did I get a subscription? No, I didn't. And here's a reason why and it's a reason I never thought would pop up. It's very strange, but a long time ago, I had gone to the doctor because I was not in as good shape as I am now and my cholesterol was higher and I didn't want to take any medication for it. So the doctor recommended that I take Rosehip for it. So I started taking Rosehip on the side and it did start lowering my cholesterol. But after a month, I started experiencing a kind of strange dull pain in my lower legs. And I know a member of my family had had this happen to them as well and they had to stop taking cholesterol medicine. So Rose hip, I guess, acts as a natural statin, which lowers your cholesterol. And I started to get that same kind of feeling when I was taking Athletic Greens. Did not expect this at all. And after taking it for about two weeks every day and starting to develop that kind of dull pain in my lower legs, I looked in the ingredients of Athletic Greens a little more closely and I did find that rose hip in it. It's an extremely tiny amount. In fact, it was part of the mix with beetroot powder and fruit powder and was only listed as a four to one ratio. I don't know what four to one ratio means exactly, but that's what it said. Now I want to let you know, I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionist. I am not a health expert and I'm only guessing this is what was causing the issue. But I do know that I have learned throughout my fitness journey that even though as humans, our bodies are made up of many of the same elements, we all have our idiosyncrasies that make our bodies different from one another. And this is just one of mine. Now, this may not happen to you and you guys might be fine. In fact, I haven't even heard this before from anybody, but I did wanna let you know that I don't think it's a bad product, but for some reason, I just can't take it. And I'm a little bummed about it because I did want to finish the six month review. So I had to abandon the test. This brings up another point. This is why I'm a huge advocate of not signing up for a subscription to a product right away. If you haven't tried the product yet, spend that extra 10 or in this case, $20 on a bag and try it out and see how it reacts with your body. Everybody's different, as I found out. Also, you'll end up saving a lot more money in the long run. I mean, think of it this way. If you get a subscription to your product and just forget one time to cancel it, you'll end up with two products that you don't even want. Then you end up, what, giving it away? Which I guess is okay. Another way to think about it is like this. How many of you have downloaded apps on your smartphones and never deleted them? And here's an even better comparison that might hit home. How many of you have ordered an online streaming service that says, hey, try us for 30 days free and forgotten to cancel it for three months? Now, if I could safely take this product, would I continue taking it? I'll tell you this, I think there is something to this whole vitamin absorption through powder or liquid form thing. I've been reading a lot up on these studies and it does seem like the evidence is mounting towards absorption through powder and liquids for your vitamins. And it's ridiculously easy to use every day. All you have to do is put the powder in with cold water, shake it up and drink it down before you eat breakfast every morning. How easy is that? I do have a couple counter arguments to Athletic Greens though. I take a lot more units or grams or milligrams of vitamins that are in Athletic Greens. So Athletic Greens comes up a little bit short for me. On the other hand, as I've been eating healthier and healthier foods, I have noticed I'm getting more vitamins from those healthier foods. 
So maybe I don't need to take as many vitamins as I'm taking right now. If I don't have to take as many vitamin supplements, my vitamin supplement budget goes down. So I'll still be spending less money than if I had a monthly subscription to Athletic Greens. Has the price of Athletic Greens changed? Actually, Athletic Greens has increased their price by $2 a package. Six months ago, it was $97 for a one-time purchase, and now it's $99. The same goes for the subscription price. It used to be $77 a package, now it's $79. What would I ask Athletic Greens to improve? With the advent of new personalized, customizable multivitamins with companies like Routine, where you can just send in your DNA tests and they can kind of see what vitamins you're short in or what will work best for you, it would be nice if you could call them up and say, hey, I love your product. Can you take this vitamin out or can you add this vitamin? In my case, I would say, can you take the rose hip out? And if they could do that, I would seriously consider using this product. So what's my conclusion? Let's look at the pros and cons. It's easy to remember to take and easy to use. It's certified by the NSF, so the ingredients are verified. It tastes good and you don't have to worry about restocking supplements and taking them throughout the day. Here's the cons. If there's an ingredient in the powder that you don't like, you can't take it out. It is expensive when compared to buying individual supplements and it doesn't include vitamin D. My conclusion is that Athletic Greens is a very good product that's a little pricey, but if you can afford it, maybe consider doing a monthly subscription. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Of course, hit the subscribe button if you wanna subscribe, and of course, the notification bell if you wanna be notified of all my videos that come out every Tuesday, by the way. And if you guys have any products you want me to review, do me a favor, put them in the comments down below. If I get enough people asking for a certain product, I might go ahead and do the video on it. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFit5, where I post at least two times a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.